three, two, one. Lift off of the Falcon 9. Vehicles pitching downrange. Stage one props nominal. Stage one entry startup. Stage one is transonic. Stage one landing range startup. Stage one landing leg deploy. Falcon 9 has landed. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, today's a very special day. Um, if you can believe it, all three of my Max-Q rockets are with me, and they all have motors in them, and they're ready to fly. Uh, a mere, you know, few days after the uh, the bad day, as you saw in the last launch day's video. But like I said, all three are rebuilt. Uh, one even has an upgrade, and I'll get to that here in a bit. But uh, for now, we're going to start out with the Max-Q SpaceX Falcon 9. Um, yeah, rebuilt it, glued everything back together. We should be good to go, running on a D12-3, got the onboard camera, and up in the top I've got the RFC, JL2, and the ION. So let me go ahead and arm the ION real quick. We'll get that going. And then uh, once we get the alert, we'll go. Winds are a little bit out of the northeast, or northwest it feels like, but not too bad. Sky's clear. It is cloudy though. Ready for launch. Okay, everything's good to go. We are launching in five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. Ah, can't it's hard, it's hard to see it on the camera. There it is. Beautiful. Now I forgot to mention I'm running a 24 inch parachute and I'll tell you why here in a second. But uh, that is so pretty. Beautiful. Not bad under 24 inch. I don't need the 30 inch anymore and on the way out, I'll tell you why. Okay, we have touched down. Beautiful. All right, let's go get it. Okay, as we head out to the rocket, um, I will point out something very interesting. The Bible tells us that a wise woman is more precious than rubies. Um, if you can find yourself a wise woman, keep her, marry her, <laughs> stick with her. And I'll tell you why. After my last, uh, um, <clears throat> we'll call it incident on Monday, my wife asked me what happened. I said, well, you know, the 30 inch chute jammed in there. She said, well, is it made for such a big chute? I said, no, but I like to put it in there. She said, well, wouldn't it be better to break a fin with a 24 inch chute than break a rocket with a 30 inch? Wise words, very wise words. So I went with the 24 and we broke a fin. And I'll tell you, I will take that broken fin any day over a broken rocket. So let me go ahead and uh, turn off our camera. Okay. Altimeters are, oh, they're all safe. They're just hanging from the tree. Typical, shoot found the tree or the bush, but uh, awesome. All right, guys, this is a good return to uh, the Max-Q rockets.
five, four, three, two, one. Okay, after having just completed a successful uh, resurrection flight on the Max-Q Falcon 9, now we're going to do the same thing with the ULA Vulcan Centaur. Uh, just a few minor repairs up in the upper body tube, and uh, I think we're good to go. So running a C-53, I'm running the RFC and the Jolly Logic 2 up in the cargo pod. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Running a 30-inch parachute now. Uh, obviously, there's a lot more room in this body to get a bigger chute, so no qualms about running the bigger chute. Okay, that being said, we are armed, scanning the sky, skies are clear, winds are dead calm. We are going in five, four, three, two, one. Okay, you open. It didn't open, but I don't think it broke. That was weird. The chute came out, it just didn't open. Doggone it. Well, let's go see what we got. Amidst all this trash, it came down kind of soft. It didn't come down too hard, actually. Um, yeah, interesting how the cargo pod landed vertically. Yeah, the chute just, uh... Oh, it, it got singed. Look, it's sticky. That's why it didn't open. Okay, the wadding held it, or the burned held it together. Shoot! Well, yeah, we broke a fin, if you can believe it, but the rocket itself is fine. Yeah, everything looks good. Um... Yeah, we'll just we'll fix that fin back up like we usually do. But that talk about bad luck. You know, I run I run a parachute protector and gobs of dog barf wadding, and it still snuck around and burned the chute a little bit, and that's why it didn't open. <clears throat> that's aggravating. But no, everything. Oh, looks like we might have broke the little nozzle there. That's an easy fix, though. That's a super easy fix. So yeah, we'll uh we'll get some data, but not expecting a you know high flight or anything. <laughs> but. Uh, all in all, I'm not complaining. It flew again and it will fly again easy enough. Five, four, three, two, one. Three hundred feet. Long. Okay guys, if you can believe it, I mentioned earlier before the first flight that one of my rockets has been rebuilt and upgraded. And this is it guys. This is the same Max-Q rockets, NASA SLS, that you saw Kato earlier in the week. Um, initially, I just kind of rebuilt it to be a, a shelf queen, sort of a trophy, just sort of a, a show-off piece. But uh, I got to looking at it and I said, you know what? Let me get to the inside and see if I can rebuild that motor mount. And I did. But I decided since I'm in there, why rebuild a D motor mount when I can uh, build an E motor mount? So here we are with the resurrected NASA SLS on an E motor. Got an E12-4. Um, due to the extra weight, I am running as much weight up at the front as I can. I've got the cargo pod, additional weight. I've got the RFC, JL2, and the ION, as well as the onboard camera. So hopefully the... Uh, 
The e-motor can get it up there, but it, this is going to be a dynamite flight, guys. This is, I'm so excited. Not only is it a resurrection flight, but it's going to be a record-breaking flight on this rocket. So, that being said, skies are clear, winds are calm, let me arm the altimeter. I always forget to do that, but let me lean down here and do that real quick. Okay, once we get the alert, we will do our countdown. I am excited. This is going to be an awesome flight. I'm running a 30-inch parachute. Altimeter ready for launch. Okay, there's the sign. We are ready to go. Skies are still clear. Winds are calm. We are going in five, four, three, two, one. Three hundred feet launch. Wow. Open up. Beautiful. Three hundred ninety-six feet. Beautiful flight. Beautiful. 200 feet. Awesome. 100 feet. Have a nice soft touchdown. And we're down, guys. Excellent, excellent flight. Great day. All right, let's go get it. Well, as we go out to get the rocket, I don't know what to tell you other than uh, I, can, I just can't think of a better day. Um, Max-Q Rockets has returned. All three rockets are flying again, and they're flying well. Like I said, the only hiccup was the, uh, the last Vulcan flight, but the parachute singed and stuck closed. Um, that's just an anomaly, but it wasn't the rocket's fault. Um, again, the Falcon X, perfect. The SLS flight appears to have gone perfect. Uh, we'll see about the fins when we get to it. <laughs> But uh, hopefully we've got some good data and some good onboard footage. Looks like the rocket may have found a little bush. But uh, yeah, it looks like we probably cracked a fin. Uh, ion is beeping. Rocket looks good. Yeah, let's see where which fin is it. Snap that fin right there. Um, I'll look around. It's, it's here somewhere. But the SRBs held together. The parachute blanket did its job. Oh, let me turn off the camera since I'm here. All right. Yeah, it's that little fin's around here somewhere. I'll find it. So, guys, just want to brag a little bit on Max Q. Easy to build, easy to fly, but uh, really easy to repair, fun to fly. Awesome day. Welcome back, Max Q.